what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Courtney and this is my project pan update first off I want to say film this on two different cameras the first camera my battery died so I had to pull out my other camera also it's gonna jump back and forth between the cameras because when I edit this I want to kind of in a nice like flow of category I was kind of jumping around from thing to thing so so if you'll see camera quality bouncing around that's why yeah I don't want this video to be too long the only items that I'm going to really review are the items that I have used up so yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video I have this e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder. I used this up completely. I liked using this under my lids. It helped my concealer and makeup not crease. Sometimes I would put it here and a little bit on my forehead. It helped kind of just control that oil in those areas and help my concealer and makeup from creasing throughout the day. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. I still have a little bit left in here, but at the bottom, there's like some iffy looking discoloration. I don't know if that's just like dead skin cells or what. It just looks kind of weird and cloudy and I really don't want to put those on my lips. So I'm going to just call that done with. I got that for free so I'm really not mad. I would put that on at night or in the morning after I'm done washing my face I'd put that on my lips and then do my makeup get ready and then take it off and do my lipstick. I really liked it. It was nice and hydrating. I would recommend it if you're interested in any lip oils. Moving on, we're going to do some updates. I will start off with this Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. Here's a picture here of what it looked like before. I expanded this pan some more. I put a larger dent in Honey Pot. Same with this shade here. I had not used this shade Fashion too much. I put in a larger dent on this light shade here. It's kind of hard to tell. The dent is more in this area right here. And then I also put the bigger dent in this shade here. So even if I don't really use this eyeshadow palette every day, I will at least set this down as my base shade before I go in with any other palette. This e.l.f. all over cover stick. The part that you're seeing up here is the plastic surrounding the product. So what I'm going to have to do for my next update is just kind of dig in there with like a knife or something. A butter knife, of course. <laughs> and um, just use the rest of them. I could call it quits but I know that there's some more product in there that I want to use up. NYX mattifying spray. I last update I think I had about half a bottle left. I'm pretty much down to like a fourth. I was gonna stick something in here for this video to get the exact amount but I'm pretty sure when I when I shake it I can feel it kind of settle at this area right here. This Milani powder foundation I have expanded the pan some more on but I'm almost done with that. Another product that I have almost finished up is the Body Shop Cheek Stamp. I have pretty much hit all pan on this in here. Then this Clinique Even Better Foundation. I have to keep this bottle upside down now because it's definitely running low. When I keep it right side up, I have to definitely shake and squeeze to get some product out of this. So I know that I am almost done with this product. Ulta Mattifying Face Primer. I have about half of that gone. Ulta Beauty Brow Shaping Gel. I ended up taking the stopper out because I wasn't really getting much product in. So how I figured out how to measure this is I took the, and I just made a line on the bottle where the product kind of ends on the brush. So that's how I kind of figured out how much product is in this. This Revlon Colorstay Concealer. I feel like last time I thought I had a fourth, but I actually feel like I maybe have like a half of this in here. It's kind of hard to tell how much product is in this. Probably by my next update, I'll have have to remove the stopper and just kind of do one of those little dip things like I did with the brow gel to kind of guesstimate how much product is in here. This Ulta contour stick. Honestly, I could have used this up by now, but some days I just, I really don't feel like contouring. But this e.l.f. brow pencil, I have used up about half of it, give or take some. This NYX jumbo eye pencil, I could have definitely finished this up had I tried a little bit more. This was only after a couple uses, to be honest, maybe like like five or so. This Pure Sculptor palette, I was working on this shade here. That dent right there is, I think I dug a nail into it or something happened, that's why that dent is there. So you can kind of see the metal rim a little bit better around the shade that I have been using. It's making progress, slowly but surely. This e.l.f. brow powder, I have expanded the dent a little bit more. I have not hit pan on it yet. I don't know how long it will take me to hit pan, but the dent is it's so hard to tell. First Aid Beauty, that liquid glow though, I have used up about a fourth of the 
that as well. This Bare Minerals Mini Liquid Lipstick. I might have a little bit more usage out of here, but it's it's still kind of early to tell how much is in here. Having half, if not more than half, product in this bottle. Definitely by next update, I should have a better guesstimate of how much is in there. This L Primer, I have not even touched. I think I'm gonna remove this from my project pan for right now. I'm just not using it. This Lancome Eyeliner, I swear to you, man, this thing is such a trooper. I have had this thing already for so long and I have hardly made a dent in it. I swear to you. Look at that. Barely any. I have worn it on my waterline, under my waterline, top line, tight line, done everything with it. It just is a product that is just never ending. After a month, I have hardly put any progress on this thing. This LA Color pencil, the blue. I have not made too much progress with these because I haven't really been using them that much. I mean, I guess I have, but for what I'm using them for, it's I'm just mainly lining my lower lash line with them. After every use though, I do have to wipe it down with a napkin because some of my eyeshadow gets stuck on it. So when I go from one eye to the next, the second eye usually doesn't get as much color. So I do have to wipe them off. So that cheats a little bit, but even then, like I've hardly put a dent in these things. Then this Ulta lipstick. I have hardly put a dent in this and I've worn this very, very frequently. I hope to use at least half of this up by the time I do my next update. Urban Decay lip pencil in the shade Native. Again, it's one of those products that I could have used more, but I really didn't. I had this on here. I was gonna add this in. I had a Maybelline Baby Lips chapstick. I think I lost it. <laughs> I left it in my friend's car. So I'm just going to call it a day. I know it's kind of random to want to pan a lipstick or a chapstick, but I'm trying to get rid of all the items in my collection that are not cruelty free. I also had that white eyeliner pencil from Essence and I have no idea where that went. I came home from work the one day. I set it on the kitchen counter and my cat knocked it off and I heard him because I was in my room. I heard him playing with my stuff. So I was like, whatever, I'll just go get it later. Later comes around and it's nowhere to be found. <laughs> so I have no idea where this thing went. Sometimes he likes, oh, speak of the devil. Come here, this guy. Oh, he loves to play with my makeup. Don't you? Don't you? Yep. Yeah. So he was playing with my eyeliner and he ended up knocking it off the counter and I don't know where it went. He likes to pick things up in his mouth and run away with them. I genuinely don't know where it's at. I looked even under my fridge, under my stove, everything in my kitchen. I don't know where it's at. So my only guess is that he picked it up and he ran off with it somewhere. If it pops up, I'll add it back to my project pan. But um, you wanna get down? There I go. No, you wanna stay up here? I don't know what you wanna do. Just. Just do you, boo. Just do you. Oh, now I have cat hair everywhere. He's so fluffy. <laughs> if I find it again, I'll bring it back into my project pan, but I'm just gonna kind of call that done for now. So I'm going to write that off. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. How I measured this is I basically just squeezed the tube until the product came out of the top and then wherever the there's like a little bulge of product, that's just how I kind of measured how much is in here. I have switched over to this chapstick brand, chapstick. I just started this like a couple days ago. Since I'm almost done with that Body Shop blush, I'm going to bring in this Ulta Velvet Blush in the shade Honey Bunny. I found this for $1. <laughs> at Ulta, but it's really nice. It has some shimmers in it, but it's very subtle. I also brought in this Wet n Wild mattifying powder. It's like just a translucent. I don't have any dents in it or anything. What I plan on using this for is just for setting my under eyes and my T-zone area. Then I wanted to bring in another lipstick for just days where I feel like wearing a nude since I have a red, a pink, and then kind of like um this Anastasia Beverly Hills mini lipstick. This is in the color. So I'm just going to measure that at here. So my goals for next month is to use up, well, I know I'm going to use up this e.l.f. all over cover stick, then this um, I keep wanting to say blush tribe. This is not blush tribe. <laughs> this is the body shop blush. Hope to use up this NYX mattifying setting spray. I think I will finish this powder foundation from Milani. This Clinique even better foundation. I'm, I'm hoping 
fingers crossed i'm hoping that i'll use that up contour stick from ulta beauty the elf brow pencil the nyx eye pencil eight of the items i plan on using up by my next update i really really hope i do i hope i'm not overshooting this but i'm pretty sure i will be fine with that and the rest i do plan on making significant progress in them if i use up anything i'll probably pull from my collection um similar items replacements and i'll be using those to pan up as well so that is it for my video today guys i really hope you enjoyed it i'm very very pleased with the progress that i have made although it was slow it was very steady although i only used up three technically three items this time and i I've lost a few along the way. <laughs> um, I'm very proud with the progress that I've made and I'm really excited to continue using up these products for the next month. After this video, I'm going to record my makeup inventory. Um, just did that declutter, so now I just, literally just before I filmed this, I went through and I counted how many items I have in each makeup category, so now I have a list of my makeup inventory. So I will be filming that right after I wrap up this, so if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for that video. I hope you all have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.